today I would like to take a look at this pen. This is a Pelican M1000 and I'm pretty excited because this is a Pelican's kind of top of the line. There's their biggest pen. Um, it is their uh, kind of their answer to and co competition to the uh, Mont Blanc 149 in terms of expensive, beautiful nibbed, very large pens. Um, you can see that's a great big pen. Uh, this is part of the uh, Souverain line, I believe that's how you pronounce it. That's probably not how you pronounce it. Anyway, um, and there's like the M800, the M600, I have a vintage M400. Um, oftentimes they're in the green and black striped uh, celluloid. This is not, it's a black pen, but it does have an ink window. It's, and this one's an oblique broad, which is kind of cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all the pieces of this pen. I'm going to give this pen some ratings out of five. I'm going to read the design, the comfort, and the writing experience. I'm going to do a writing sample, and then we'll be done. So let's take a closer look at this pen. Okay, so let's take a look at this pen. Uh, we'll start with the cap. So the cap is on the top. We have, it's a gold. I've seen them with black. This one is gold on the top, and it's got the Pelican logo in like shiny gold with a, kind of a matte gold around it. It's got the round top and a step down and angle in here and the uh, band around there and then the clip and the clip is the stylized face of a pelican as you can see kind of eyes and beak. It's a good clip. Um, not the tightest clip but you know it works. Um, it's a straight cylinder and then you get the band and it says Germany and it says Pelican and it says Souverain which I believe might be the pronunciation and it's the two bands there. So there's your cap. So for details on the cap we have the Pelican face and beak and on the band we have Germany Pelican Souverain which I believe is how you pronounce it. And you got the pen itself, and as you can see, it's a really big pen. Actually, I believe it is larger than the one, the Mont Blanc 149. So the body of the pen looks like it comes out a little bit there and tapers down. There's a step, the two gold bands, and the end cap, which is the piston, which works the piston fillers, the piston filler pen. Now, because it's full of ink, you can't really see here, but this here is a ink window, and uh, that way you can tell how much pen, how much ink you have in your pen. Lets you know if you're about to run out. So for details on the nib, we have the two-tone, we have the oblique broad on the top, we have the scroll work, we have the Pelican logo and the gold on the on the uh, silver tone. We have 18C 750, 18 karat gold, OB for oblique broad, and then the symbol there, and this great big feed. Hi, you may be thinking, weren't you wearing a different shirt before? And the answer to that would be yes, because I'm filming this on a different day because like a great big dumb idiot that I am, I, instead of recording the part where I gave the pen ratings, I recorded the part where I was leaning in and turning off the camera. Anyway, so let's give this pen some reins out of five. For design, I'm going to rate this pen a four. Um, it's a very classic design. Um, black and gold, I've said several times, are not my absolute favorite uh, designs for a pen, but this has a lot going for it. It's got the nice step down on the uh, top cap there, the Pelican nib, and it's an impressive pen. And uh, everything is really well made. So design-wise, that's great. It just feels really, really well made. You can tell that this is a quality pen just by holding it and just by using it. Um, for comfort, I'm going to give this pen a 3.5, 3.75, really. Um, still a bit big. Same thing for the Mont, that with the Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc 149. It's just in my hands. I can see why would, people with really big hands would feel really great. In my hands, not perfect. Um, not bad, but not perfect. But lengthwise and weight-wise, great. Just the size of the section. 
Um, it's a bit, it's a bit wide for me. Um, then writing experience, I'm gonna give it a 4.5. Loved writing with this pen. Um, the oblique broad was nice. It was wet, really comfortable to slide across the paper. Generous with the ink. All the things you really want in a pen. It feels like it's a really good pen when you write with it. Anyways, um, so now let's go back in time to when I wrote with this pen and look at the writing sample. Okay, so let's do a writing sample. This is the M1000. So overall, there's dots in there. Um, it's got the oblique broad, and I got Mont Blanc lavender in it. So let's do some writing. So the quick brown fox jumps over a lazy dog. Um, and I gotta say, I love pelican nibs. This one is, like all the others, really beautiful to write with. Um, it is uh, really smooth. It uh, kind of glides across the paper and the bleak broad makes you kind of hold the pen a little bit differently. Instead of like this, you hold like this. And it gives you some natural line variation when you do that. Now I think you can see the ink kind of pool in there. It is quite a wet pen, but let's see if it keeps up and right quickly. Okay, so it does keep up. Um, there's a couple spots it looks like it's skipping, but that's just me not holding the pen correctly because I'm not really that used to it. Um, if I was, that wouldn't be a problem, I can tell you. It is definitely putting up out enough ink. And is it wet? Like, yeah, it is wet. It is a very wet writer. Now, I can tell you just by writing it, you can kind of feel a give. It's got long tines and it's an 18 karat gold, so it has some give and flex to it, but you can squeeze out plenty. And I'm barely giving it any pressure at all. It just does it almost on its own. Really nice to write with. So yeah, um, yeah, so I talked a little bit about in the parts of the pen how I uh, really kind of let's give it some fancy dude here. Not fancy, but give him a mustache. Anyway, he's a uh, Fancy because he's got a bow tie. That makes him fancy, doesn't it? Yeah, I gotta say that Pelican makes nice pens. Really, really nice to write with. And the size, like, yeah, it's a big pen, and uh, but I gotta say that I do prefer, however this design is, even though it might be a bigger pen than the uh, Mont Blanc uh, 149, I do prefer this one in my hand. I still find it a bit large, honestly. It's, uh, I really want to try an M800, actually. I think that would be really my size of pen, just from my, just from what I think. Um, I'm actually really want to, kind of my, uh, dream pen right now is that black and gray M800. Um, the name of it is, like, kind of, uh, Slip in mind, I'll, I'll write it in the uh, description of the pen. But anyways, that pen, just from the looks alone, is kind of my grail pen at the moment. That's the pen that I most want to try. So hopefully I do get a chance to before too long. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, if you like the video, hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe. There's a... Uh, plenty of videos on my channel, there's plenty more coming, uh, pen reviews, drawing videos, uh, some other stuff I'm thinking about, but in the meantime,
Goodbye.